the models are all about about straight lines but the body's full of curves and you wonder where do these straight lines fit into the body and that's because these forces of tension and compression attraction and repulsion always act in straight lines but because they're in hierarchies heterarchies like this <clears throat> you can see them at a smaller scale but at the larger scale you see a curve but you know that inside that there are lots of curve lots of straight lines operating at a different level the balance of tension and compression of course these these forces are flowing when you pull on a pull on a string from one end to the other where are we if i pull this pull this one here the tensions the forces are flowing through it, it looks like it's static but it's a dynamic process. process. All the times we think of dynamism. Dynamism. It's got red struts in each of the TI costa, and they form a helix, a spiral, from one side to the other. But you only see that when you look at the whole thing. You can't see it necessarily in a single model. Although, now we're talking on this, <clears throat> this model here has three yellow struts and three green struts. One had the green struts in this one have a left-handed twist and the yellow struts have a right-handed twist. And that's the one nice thing about the TI Cossa. It's got both spirals within it. It's got so many things in this simple model. So if you get hold of one and can play with it, you learn so much.